open our eyes to see, our ears to hear, and our heart to receive your word. Let the word of God that goes forth, let it go forth unhindered, and we bind the thief that comes to steal the word in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to guard it with all diligence, to guard our heart with our diligence. May we retain what has gone forth today in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, a few days ago in the morning prayer, as we were praying, the Lord gave us the theme of the year. And I usually don't do themes. You know, people usually do a theme, you know, this year is the year of you fill in the blank. But the Lord gave me a theme. 2024 is the year of redemption. The year of redemption. And what does this mean? Redemption is for whatever you have lost, for whatever that has been taken from you to be restored, to be redeemed, to be bought back. Amen. Glory to God. The year of 2024 is the year of redemption. And so when we go into this year, all you have to do is believe whatever you have lost whether it's in 2023 2022 no, no matter how far back whatever you have lost god is going to restore it amen. amen if you lost your joy god is going to restore it. if you lost your fire god is going to restore it. if you lost some resources if you lost some money god is going to restore it if you lost relationships god is going to restore it if you lost whatever it is hallelujah god is going to restore it in the year 2024 and i'm not just speaking charismatically i'm not just speaking this is a word from the lord now this is like three days ago what is the lord gave that word amen and whoever believes it's going to happen to them the bible says that the devil is a thief what does a thief come to do? Take your stuff. <laughs> Steal. Amen. And the devil is slick. He wants us to pay attention to our neighbor. He wants us to pay attention to our family members. But in reality, our real enemy is the devil. Our real enemy is the devil. We live in two worlds. There's the natural world in which in we, we see what we see, but there's also a spiritual world in the unseen. And in the unseen, the devil is busy. He is busy doing what? Stealing, killing, and destroying. And it's real, you guys, I'm telling you. It's real. And sometimes we will think that it was God that took, took it away. But I'm telling you, it was the devil. <laughs> but the good news is, anything you have lost, hear me and hear me well. You guys, I'm speaking as an oracle of God. This is not a message that's been recycled. This is what God is saying. Anything that you have lost, he can re redeem it in 2024. Amen. And all you have to do is believe. All you have to do is believe. Amen. Amen. What are the, some of the things that God wants to restore to you or redeem to you? Redeem means to buy back, to save to bring back to its original condition. In the year 2024, God is going to redeem time. Somebody say time. The most important thing in life is not money. It's time. It's time because once you run out of time, what good is all your money? Time. 
What you do with your time is more important than money. Because time will soon run out. Your money will remain, but your time will soon run out. But what you do with it is what matters. So how you spend your time is important. The devil comes and steals your time. And he does it so slick. <laughs> he does it so slick. One of the ways the devil steals your time is he'll give you something to do that has nothing to do with your purpose. He'll keep you busy doing nothing. Busyness is not productivity. Just because there's a lot of movement doesn't mean you're going anywhere. Productivity is when you have a goal and you accomplish it. When you have a vision, when you have a dream and you accomplish it. That's productivity. God wants you to be goal oriented. The year 2024, you should have a goal. And you say, this year, this is what I want to accomplish. This month, this is what I want to accomplish. Don't live life aimlessly. I'm telling you, time goes by fast. But one thing I learned, when time goes fast, you have to go faster than it. <laughs> when time goes fast, you have to go faster. You have to be purposeful. You have to be intentional and say, this is where I'm going. This is what I want to accomplish. Don't let the devil steal your time. In Ephesians 5.14, the scripture says, Wherefore he saith, Awake, thou thou sleepest. Arise from the dead, Christ shall give thee light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming what? The time. Someone say the time. Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. It was once said that when you lose time, you can't gain again. In the natural, that is true. But with God, all things are possible. You can lose time and gain it again. The way God redeems time for you is, if something would have took you five years to accomplish, he'll make you do it in one. So in, in the normally, you would accomplish something in five years, but God said, I'll make you do it in one, if you believe me. I will redeem time for you. Other people will accomplish it in five years, but you, I'll make you do it in one. I'll make you do it in one if you keep your eye on me, if you trust me, if you believe me, if you keep me first. I will redeem the time for you in 2024, says the Lord. It's not the person that works the hardest, that wins. I want us to go to the passage uh, Ecclesiastes. Hallelujah. So I want to say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I feel the spirit in this place. Ecclesiastes, I believe it's chapter 9. Stop focusing on working the hardest. You need to work the wisest, not the hardest. It doesn't have to take you 10 years. 
You can do it in one. Ecclesiastes 9.11 And it reads, I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift. So I'm going to say it's not the fastest that wins. <laughs> That's what the Bible says. Nor the battle to the strong. So I'm going to say it's not the strongest that wins. Wow. <laughs> Neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but what? Time and chance happens to them all. It's the one who's at the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing with the right people. <laughs> I'm telling you, successful people are at the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing with the right people. You know, you can be at the right place doing the wrong thing with the wrong people. <laughs> you need all the equation. You could be doing at the you could be doing the right thing at the wrong place. And you're saying, why, why aren't I getting any promotion? Why has nobody recognized you at the wrong place, buddy? <laughs> you need to change location and watch watch you spring up. You could be you could be with the right people doing the wrong thing. <laughs> You have to have all the equation, all the equation, time and chance, be it at the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing with the right people. And who is at the right place, at the right time? doing the right thing with the right people. God. God. When you listen to the Lord, he'll tell you where to go. He'll tell you what to do. You don't have to do everything to be successful. You just have to do one thing and do it right, and people will know you for it. You don't have to be everywhere for people to know you. You just have to be at one place. So you need God in your equation. So I'm going to say praise the Lord. The year of 2024, God is redeeming the time for you. He's redeeming the time for you. Amen. Time is in his hands. The Bible says in Joel 2, verse 25, I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the pommel worm, my great army which I sent among you. I will restore to you what? The years. I'm telling you, the, I'm telling you who's in charge. <laughs> he said, I will restore to you see, in the natural, when you lose time, you've lost it. What God said, not with me. I got time in my hands. I will make you do what, what, what is supposed to be done in five years. I'll make, it do, I'll make you do it in one. I will restore to you the years. Is anybody ready for that? 2024. The place you were supposed to be. God says, I'm going to do it in 2024 if you believe me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I feel this. God is in control of time. And he will restore to you the years. I don't know about you, but I've lost some years. 
<laughs> Amen. And God will do it in 2024. All you have to do is believe. Believe him for it. And say, Lord, thank you for restoring the years for me. Thank you, Lord, for redeeming the time for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, you will have what you say. What are you saying? What are you allowing come out of your mouth? Thank you, Jesus. Don't worry about being the fastest. Don't worry about being the smartest. Don't worry about, don't worry about being the strongest. Just worry about being at the right place at the right time, doing the right thing with the right people. And God is your equation. He's the one that will tell you where to go, what to do. Who to hang with? You guys, you know you need people. You can't do it all by yourself. God will bring you destiny helpers. And you just know I'm supposed to connect with this person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't do it all by yourself. Jesus knew that. Jesus knew that. That's why he went and got his disciples. He couldn't do it all by himself. And he was God. How much more us, his followers. So I'm going to say, praise the Lord. I will restore to you the years. God is in control of time. In Matthew 24, 21, it says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be what? shortened there shall be no flesh be saved but for the last sake those days shall be shortened god is in control of time he says i can shorten days hallelujah it don't have to take you a long time my god i hope someone is getting this i can shorten days just keep your eye on me. You can be a millionaire in one day. <laughs> you could be a multi-millionaire in one day. You could be a billionaire in one day. You know, I'm not kidding. You know there are billionaires that are made in a day? Why can't it be you? Amen. Receive it. <laughs> you guys better receive this. You don't have to be the smartest to, to be the richest. You just have to hire smart people around you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. You don't have to know everything. Glory to God. He's going to shorten the days. He's going to shorten the days. It's, gonna, it's not going to take you a long time to accomplish it. The Bible says one will chase a thousand, two, ten thousand. Why? Because they're connected with God. God is your equation. God is your equation. I'm telling you, God is your equation. In 2024, don't keep God out of your life. Keep him first in everything. He can shorten the days for you. You might think, oh, you know, uh, I need to focus on this and I don't have time, you know, to do, to do this, read my Bible. I'm telling you, you're missing out. Because God can shorten the days for you. What will take people long to accomplish with you, he'll, he'll do it like that. Why? Because you put him first. Amen. You put him first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They'll have a list of all the candidates and all of a sudden they're like, man, this Something about this guy, uh, Jared, you know, I don't, I don't know. Who is he? I don't know. I just feel like uh, calling him. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's how it works. Somebody say favor. 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 He can shorten the days for you. It don't have to be long. He's God. He's God. That's why he's God. 2024 is the year of redemption. He's going to redeem time for you. Anybody ready for that? 
Thank you, Jesus. We're ready, Lord. Secondly, God, in 2024, God is going to redeem lost relationships. Lost relationships, lost connections, lost friends, families, whatever. The devil comes to what? Steal. God is a God of reconciliation. God is a God of reconciliation. It's not his will for us to be divided, for us to be in strife. That's the devil that be doing that stuff. That's the devil. God is a God of love, and he wants us to be united. And if you choose, <laughs> God, God can reconcile that relationship. If you choose, because some, sometimes people are like, hey, no, no, it's okay, I'm just going to move on. It's up to you. But as a messenger of the Lord, God will restore relationships that have been lost in 2024. Anything that God restores is or redeems is always better than the first. So when he restores a relationship, it will be better than it was before. And if it's not with the same person, the new person will be better. <laughs> Either way, he's going to restore the relationship. The Bible says that the first Adam the second Adam was better than the first. Hallelujah. In the Bible we see a story of a son, a man that had two sons. And one came and said, "Father, give me all my inheritance. I want to get out of here." <laughs> So the father said, okay. So he gave him all his inheritance and he took all that gold money and he went. And the Bible says that he lived a riotous life. He lived recklessly and he just wasted all the money and he got to his lowest. And when he got to his lowest, he came to his senses and he said, I need to go back to my father because in my father's house, they're eating way better than me. And here I'm getting ready to starve to death. And so the Bible said, we're going to go to it, uh, Luke chapter 15. From verse 16. Luke's going to start from verse 11. And he said, a certain man had two sons and the younger of men of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth me. And he divided them his living. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land. And he began to say, he began to be in want and went and joined himself to a citizen of the country and sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father, and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me one of thy servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven. And in thy sight, I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servant, 
Bring forth the best robe, put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet, and bring hither the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. 2024, God is restoring lost relationships. The Bible says that the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Proverbs 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. You know what that means? He can change people's mood just like that. The person that said no can instantly say yes. God was the one that hardened Pharaoh's heart. Isn't that interesting? God can harden people's heart. <laughs> what am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you that the, the one that left being angry, 2024 can come back and say, you know what? I don't even know what I was thinking. I don't know why I left. I'm sorry. Can we, can we try again? If you choose, <laughs> if you want them to come back. <laughs> But I'm telling you, the devil is a thief. He comes to steal. He comes to steal. Hallelujah. The third thing that God will restore to you in 2024 is lost resources. And to be more specific, money. <laughs> some of you have lost some money. <laughs> Or some money was supposed to come to you, but it never came. The devil stole it. Some deals were supposed to come to you. Some promotion. The devil stole it. In the year of 2024, that money is coming back to you. And it's not just going to come back the same. It's going to come back double. Double for your trouble. Somebody say double double. <laughs> I know y'all like uh, in and out. <laughs> you always go for that double double. <laughs> double. Amen. Anything that God redeems, it's always better than the first. It's almost like the devil is doing you a favor by stealing from you. <laughs> Because when you get it back, it's going to be double. Glory to God. The Bible says in Exodus 22, verse 4, If the theft be certain found in his hand alive, whether it be an ox or an ass or a sheep, he shall restore double. It's the law of God. Double, double, hallelujah. If you lost 100,000, you get 200,000 back. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He's going to redeem it for you in 2024. 1 Samuel 30, 18. And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away. You know, the Bible said that at one point, David had lost everything. And they came and took all his stuff and all uh, his family. And he was so sad. They was getting ready to stone him. Because he was a leader. <laughs> and the Bible says that David encouraged himself in the Lord. And he went to the Lord. And the Lord said, go get your stuff back and I'll be with you. And the Bible said that he went and recovered all. But he didn't just recover his stuff, he took some of their stuff too. <laughs> when he won the war, there's spoils in the war. You know, when you win a war, you take the spoils. So not only did he recover his stuff that was stolen, but he also took their stuff. So when God redeems you, when he redeems the thing that was stolen, it's always double. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Double. Anybody ready for double? Yes. Yes. 
I'm excited about 2024. Some of you, it's not money that you've lost or relationships. Some of you have lost your passion. You lost your passion. You used to have a passion for this. You used to be passionate about singing or or you used to have this dream. You wanted to do this in life and and life just hits you left and right and you, you just gave up. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm telling you in 2024, God is going to restore your passion back to you. That dream that you gave up in, God is going to restore the drive, the passion, and you're going to go after your dream once again. Hallelujah. He's going to revive you, give you your passion back. I'm telling you, in order for one to be successful, they need passion. It's not enough just to do something. You got to have a drive because there's going to be resistance. And if you don't have passion, you're going to give up. You're going to be like, ah, oh, it's not worth it. But when you have passion, it doesn't matter what hits you, you're going to keep going forward. God's, God is going to restore your passion in 2024. Is anybody ready for that? He's going to give you that fire. Some of you used to be on fire. You used to be on fire for the Lord, preaching, evangelizing, winning souls. I mean, you were hot. I mean, if somebody touched you, they'd be like, ah, <laughs> But now you're kind of like, uh, you know, I don't know if, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you lost your drive. The devil stole it. I'm telling you, he's a thief. He steals in different ways. Well, I want to tell you, as the oracle of the Lord, God is going to restore your passion in 2024. You're going to be hotter than ever. Amen. Hallelujah. You thought you was hot before. Just wait till God redeems you. Amen. You're really going to be hot. You're going to be smoking hot. Hallelujah. No more will you be singing this little light of mine. You're going to be singing this huge light of mine. <laughs> this big light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. You don't want little lights anymore. You're going to grow that light, and that light is going to be so bright, people need uh, shades to, to watch you. <laughs> People are going to need shades to like, man, he's so bright. Let me put my shades on. This guy is a star. Hallelujah. It's not enough for you to shine in the light. Stars are meant to shine in the darkness. So in the midst of that trial, in the midst of the haters as some ministers might put it in the midst of the haters god will what prepare a table in the presence of your enemies why because he wants you to shine stars shine at night they don't just shine when everything's going well oh hallelujah oh hallelujah God's going to be your refuge. God's going to be your high tower. He's going to be your shield. And in the midst of the hardship, you're going to strengthen yourself. You say, I'm going to keep going and believe God. I'm going to believe God. Because stars shine at night. Stars shine at night. And I want to tell you today that you are a star. You are a star because your father is a star. Jesus is the bright and morning star, and he makes his children stars. Hallelujah. You're going to shine. You're going to shine. You're going to burn. You're going to burn for the Lord. You're going to burn for the Lord. You're going to be so hot, you can't stay still. 
You're like, I got to tell someone about this Jesus. I got to tell someone. Glory to God. Twenty twenty four, he's gonna to restore to you your passion. The passion that was lost. The Bible says in Psalms fifty one twelve, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy spirit. Joy is passion. Some of you, you're gonna get your joy back in twenty twenty four. You used to be very joyful and excited and and all of a sudden, life just hits you. You're going to get it back in 2024. And it's not going to take long. As soon as that clock hits, something supernatural is going to happen. All of a sudden, you're like, wow, I forgive the person. All of a sudden, you'll be like, man, all of a sudden, you just, I should start laughing like Jared. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> the joy of the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. Receive the word of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He's going to redeem that joy that the devil came and stole from you. The devil is caught today. The Bible says when the thief is caught, he's got to pay. He's caught. Some of you, God is going to re redeem your health. Hallelujah. It's going to redeem your health. God wants you to be healthy. One of the ways God, the devil steals from you is he puts sickness in your body. Make you sick, make you tired, and you don't feel like doing nothing. That's the devil. God is going to restore your health in 2024. He's going to restore not just your health, but your youth. Amen. Amen. They're going to be asking you, how old are you? You're going to say 21. <laughs> All the ladies say amen. Because <laughs> they're 21 forever. <laughs> forever 21. <laughs> He's going to restore your, your youth. What is it? It's Isaiah? Isaiah. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah, I believe it's 40. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28. From verse 28, hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. 2024, you're not going to be faint. You're not going to be weary and tired. You're not going to feel like you want to give up. 2024, he's going to give power to you in Jesus' name. And to them that have no might, he increase strength. Hallelujah. God is your strength in 2024. Even the youths shall faint and be weary. And the young man shall utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Is anybody ready for their strength to be renewed? Yes. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The year of 2024, you're going to renew your strength. You're going to mount up with wings as eagle. You know what, it, you know what eagles do?
you know, if you want to go out of state, if you drove, it'll take you some days. Let's say you want to go to Texas. It'll take you about what, three, four days? It depends if you're taking breaks and stuff. Or something. <laughs> but if you had the wings of an eagle, if you got on that plane and amen, in the year 2024, God is going to speed things up for you. You're going to mount up. Oh, I feel this. You're going to mount up with wings as eagle. I'm telling you, he's going to speed you up. He's going to speed you up, Stan. He's going to speed you up. He's going to speed you. You're going to get there. You're like, oh, my gosh, the grace of God. It's the grace of God. Thank you, Jesus. I feel this. You're going to mount up with the wings as eagle. You're going to mount up with the wings as eagle. You're going to fly to your destiny. You don't have to walk. You don't have to take the bus. You don't have to catch the train. You don't have to take Uber. You're going to fly to your destiny. And you're going to be like, Wow, how did I get here so fast? Whoo, this is the word of the Lord. How did I get here so fast? The Lord carried you on his wings. The Holy Spirit is identified as a dove. Jesus is identified as a lion. But the Father it's identified as an eagle. Jehovah is going to speed you up to get to your destiny for you to accomplish that thing that he told you to do. Don't worry about what the devil did in 2023 or in 2022 or in 2021 or all the years before. <laughs> All you need to focus on is what God is going to do in 2024. Be like Peter. Keep your eyes on Jesus and you're going to walk on water. You hold on to that word. Jesus said, come, hold on to that word. The word of 2024 is God is redeeming time. He's redeeming relationships. He's redeeming resources. He's redeeming joy, passion, destiny. Anything you have lost, anything the devil has stolen from you in 2024, God will redeem it for you. God will redeem it for you. And the devil can't do nothing about it. People will be jealous because they're working all hard. <laughs> and here, all you did was just listen to God and God said, do this, do that, do that. And you passed them up. And it took them all these years. You, it didn't take you long. Like, I just did what God told me to do. <laughs> Success is a person, Jesus. Success is Jesus. He says, follow me, follow me. I'll show you where to go. I'll tell you what to do. Just listen to me, listen to my voice. I'll speak to you. Don't follow the traditional method. This is what it says in the book. But the book is not always right. You guys know that, right? The book 
is not there on the scene. The book does not know every situation. Follow the voice of God. Follow what? The voice of God. That's what he's doing 2024. Redemption time. The year of redemption. Anybody ready? Thank you, Jesus. Tell your neighbor, let's fly together. <laughs> let's fly together, Jonathan. Why are we taking the, the, the long route? God is the shortcut. Yes, I know you guys like shortcuts. I'm telling you the shortcut. <laughs> God is the shortcut. He'll just he'll tell you, okay, do this. Talk to this person. And don't worry about all those. No, no, talk to this person. Call this person. Go here. God is the shortcut. <laughs> Why? Because he's going to shorten the day. Ooh, hallelujah. I want you at this time, just talk to the Lord now. Talk to him. Tell him you believe in him. He knows what you've lost. You, he knows what you've lost. He's, he, knows how, he knows how the devil stole from you. He's a redeemer. That's good. I like that. Uh, I know. He knows what you lost. Talk to him. I want to pray for you. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. He wants to hear from you. He's your father, he's your father. Speak to me, my son. I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear your heart. It's okay, if you're upset, tell God you're upset. He wants to hear you, you're upset. You say, I'm upset. He doesn't want you to be fake around him. Tell him you're upset. Lord, I'm upset. Lord, I'm sad. Lord, I'm disappointed. You can be real with your dad. You can be real with your heavenly father. He says, I, I got you, my son. Just trust me. I'll get it back. I'll get it back. <laughs>